So, Phil, thanks so much for coming out here. I really it's appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Have you been to the DeSoto Speedway before? Actually, it's my first time. Isn't so. it great? Yeah, it is. Actually, being from Indianapolis and experiencing the Indianapolis 500, you know, it's kind of special. It brings back some memories. Awesome. I didn't know you were from Indianapolis. Uh, that's, that's home. Oh, great. So, yeah. have you ever aspired to be a race car driver? Well, I have to admit, you know, that when we got on the track with a car, I kind of wanted to speed it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. I've got this beautiful Porsche hybrid, so... Wow. I have to do it. At least a couple laps. Well, oh, absolutely. I, I, I don't blame you. That's a great car. And you look good in it, too. So, Phil, you're here because we're doing a tribute to you because you're saying goodbye. You're stepping down from the Glasser Schoenbaum Foundation yeah. and the Human Services Foundation. Do yeah. you want to encapsulate that? Well, you know, I mean, you know, it's not like I'm going to go away. You know, the center will always be, you know, a part of, you know, of me. It's part of my life. But, you know, it's a transition. I think it's the best thing that can happen. It's the best thing for, you know, the organization. So change is always good. So we have a, an exciting new executive director there. I think I met uh, her the other day, yeah, Cameron. Yeah, yeah, and great. She, she's, she's perfect. Uh, the center, uh, it is unlimited as what needs to be done. It's unlimited as to what, you know, they can do and Cameron will certainly lead it to its next level then I can sit back and watch it happen and what are you gonna do with all your time oh, now listen I'll never people say well, you'll be bored I'm bored my life you know I want to you know I want to read I want to garden I want to entertain I have books that I want to write you know I've never even learned to play golf Wow. So. Well, you certainly have some beautiful <laughs> golf courses. And you can learn to race cars, too. Sure, sure. That's kind of a dangerous yeah. pastime, but yeah, it's yeah, exciting. Yeah, yeah, So I just want my life to always be exciting. I don't want to ever be boring. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're wearing today? I know you've got some fabulous new jeans from Marcelo Sports. Yeah, and I was just talking about that, you know, they're really great because they're so light and they, they're very, very, you know, comfortable. Uh, earlier, you know, I had on one of their wonderful, you know, shirts and a great uh, velvet jacket. It was beautiful. Uh, it, it was beautiful, and then I had just bought some new Ferragamas, and, and actually my favorite thing are my cowboy boots. Wow, those so, are outrageous. You know, I'm, you know, I'm from Kentucky, so cowboy boots and jeans, you know, t-shirts, that's me. And you're always like considered the well-dressed man, oh, the epitome, uh, the fashion icon, yeah. and they're doing something you know for your tribute with yeah. that is that can you explain it to well us? this is kind of funny that uh the way i dress you know uh got so much attention but you know i i you know i'm in sales we're all in sales so regardless of what you know our uh degree is in or what initials are after our name it's all about sales and selling yourself so actually you know i've had 30 years in retail fashion and beauty so uh, i know how it's all about sales making first impressions absolutely you make so, a great impression so well you know and i've never been you know shy about it so you know it's okay to mix it up a little bit and you know throw on an ascot so whatever it's fun you always look great and Thank i'm really you. excited to attend the event on ah, november 14th i'm so happy that you're going to be there and since they're centering you know on fashion and what have you you'll be a perfect fit so I well i don't normally wear this race car outfit but it's in the genre of the desoto speedway and they were really kind enough to let us use the facility and it's outrageous so one day i hope to race here maybe in my next life yeah. i don't know or whatever but thanks so much for oh, being thank here thank you Phil. and you look great in the in the outfit thank so. you